Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Plex Connect on a Windows 10 64-bit machine. So first thing you're going to want to do is have a look down in the description and click on the download link which goes to Dropbox which has everything that you need uh, to install Plex Connect. So once you have that downloaded and unzipped we can continue. Alright, so now that we've got our goodie bag unzipped we're going to want to install all these one by one so let's click on step one if you haven't already installed your Plex Mini server I, I've already got mine installed so I'm going to skip this one next is step two which is Python so double click on that uh, we'll click on next uh, we'll leave it as default so next next again and wait for this to install And it should only take a few seconds. Alright, now that's done, we'll click on finish. And move on to step three, so double click. Uh, agree to the terms and conditions and click on next. Next again, next again, next again, and install. Yeah, we'll just wait for this one to finish. I think this is the longest one. Alrighty. And it's done. We'll untick the donation and click on finish. Then these are very repetitive, but um, we can pretty much speed through these. So double click on step four. Agree the terms and conditions and install. Now, if you've already got these, you'll get a repair or uninstall notice. Just ignore that. Move on to step five. Agree, install, close, step six, same thing, agree, install, and close, step seven, same thing, agree, install, all right, next, uh, step eight is a little bit different, it's a bit of an older one, next, agree, install, yeah, we'll just wait for this one and finish. And then step nine, agree, install, and close. Next, we're going to want to open up a, another window. So we'll right click on this computer and click on open a new window. And we'll move this so we can work side by side. Alright, so we're going to go into our C drive and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it CERT, C-E-R-T. Alright, next we will go back to our goodie bag and copy the CERT.create file. And we're going to paste that into our CERT folder. Now we're going to right hold shift and right click beneath the cert.create file and click on open command window here. And then we're going to type in the name of the file. So cert, oops, cert.create.bat. And hit enter. And our cert file is being generated. So we'll get a little pop up and we'll click on install certificate. And I'll leave it as default. So next. And next. And finish. And we'll get a little pop up message saying that it was successful. We'll click on OK. And OK. All right. Now we can close our command window. Okay, now we're going to want to rename our certificate file. As you can see here, we can't see the extension, so now what we need to do is click on uh, View and then File Name Extensions. Just check that. Now we can see the trailers.der file. We're going to right click on that and rename. And we're going to change this to trailers.cer. Hit Enter. Click on yes, and then we're going to 
go back to the C drive and copy our Plex Connect folder into our C drive. So right click copy and then control V or paste and we'll just wait for that to complete. Okay, there we go. Now we'll just organize this and go in back into our cert folder and we're gonna get all select all these files and cut them. Go back to our C drive, then our Plex Connect folder, assets, certificates, and we're gonna right click and paste them into here. Next, we're gonna go back to our Plex Connect folder and double click on plexconnect.py to start Plex Connect. All right, now we can see Plex Connect loading and it's up and running. And we can see that it's running well. So we'll close this now. So what we're gonna wanna do is set a static IP address. Go down to our start menu and right click on our start icon and click on command prompt admin. And then we're gonna type in ipconfig and hit enter. So in here we can see our IPv4 address, our subnet mask, as well as our default gateway. So we're gonna use all this information next. So now we're gonna right click on our network sharing icon and open up Network and Sharing Center. And then we're gonna click on Ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on what method we're using to connect. And then click on Properties, select IPv4, and hit Properties. And then we're gonna set our information in here. So our IP address is our IPv4 address, so mine's 10.0.0.78. My subnet mask is also listed there and my default gateway as well. So as you can see, I've already set mine and also the default gateway is the same for the DNS server. So mine is 10.0.0.138. Now that we've set all that, we can hit OK, hit close, hit close and close that and close that and then we can go back into Plex Connect and start it up again. So now every time our PC turns on, it will always have that IP address and our Apple TV will know how to find Plex Connect. So now the rest of the configuration is done on the Apple TV. Okay, now we've got our Apple TV up and running. We can go across to settings and we can go down to not go into general and change our network, so click on network, and then Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi again, and we'll go down to configure DNS, and we'll change this from automatic to manual. Then we're gonna change, we're gonna put in the IP address of our Plex Connect server, so mine was 10.0.0.78, yours will be different obviously, and we'll click on done. We'll apply these settings and we'll go back, back, back. And then we're going to go scroll down to send data to Apple. But instead of pressing enter, we're going to push the play slash pause button, the bottom right of your remote. And we'll get into the profiles area. And we're going to add a new profile. We've got a little bit of a warning come up, so we'll click on OK. Next, we're going to scroll down and clear what's already in there, and we're going to type in the following URLs. It's going to be http two dots slash slash and then our IP address. So mine was ten dot zero dot zero dot seventy eight and then we're going to do another slash slash trailers Tra trailers dot c e r and I'll put that link 
on the screen so that you can read it properly. And we'll click on Submit. And on our Plex Connect, you'll see serving.sir slash trailers.sir, that little file that we created has now been applied to our Apple TV. So we go back, back, and we find our trailers. Oh, no, thank you. We find our trailers icon, which is down here for me. Go into there, we'll see Plex Connect start sending requests to Plex Connect on our Apple TV. Now I'm getting a Plex Connect No Plex Library sections available. So what we're going to want to do is scroll across, across to settings and we'll log into our Plex account. So, okay, so now that we've put in our Plex information, we'll see it sign in for us. A whole bunch of new um, buttons along the top. So if we scroll across to our library section, we can still see all of our libraries. And we can go into our movies and then start viewing our media. And there we go, that's pretty much it. And if I was to click on play, it would start playing, but due to copyright, I won't be playing that. So guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any requests for future tutorials, please let me know. Um, and if you could like and maybe subscribe, that would really be good. Thanks.